Hello, hello, everyone. It is yet again another mindless, meaningless, and just another video to just pass by in the cloud, in the universe, into the ether, into the ethernet, if you will. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Okay, I wrote down a list of the things that I wanted to talk about because the video was originally long and also there's not much in the video so yeah I'm just gonna ramble and say a lot of things and it might not look like it here but leading towards the end of this week I don't know why but I was just feeling okay well you know what this happened yesterday Yesterday, I don't know why, I just woke up, and I was like, I feel fine, whatever, blah, 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 And then, um, all suddenly, I just came down with this, it, I don't know, like, if this is what depression is, oh my gosh. Because it didn't even feel like one of those voices of fear and anxiety and what if. It was like, it was just like you can't do this we're gonna stay in bed today and we're not gonna do anything and I don't know why but it just made me it like physically made me like feel like my face was like it just felt like the energy was just being dragged down my face and I just felt like uh yeah I can't do this I can't pursue that I, I don't even know what I was thinking, like, I should just stay in this house and stay in this bed and just rock for the rest of my life. And that's what it felt like, and I hated that feeling, and it just, like, happened all in, like, a swift moment, like a, like a breeze. And I was just like, what the heck was that? And I, and you guys already know, I hate negative feelings, even though like, you know, you have to write it out. But this one was like so completely random. Like I literally just woke up. I was on my phone. I was, you know, scrolling through the interweb. And then I was like, okay, you know, it's time to get up. It's time to start the day. And yeah, nothing happened the day before. Nothing coming up really that was making me like well I guess like start like looking for a job and whatnot but I don't know it was just it was just weird and I was like I don't know where that came from like that's not that's not a great way to start the day or how I want to get out of bed feeling like so I was like that was strange I don't believe that um, I don't know where that came from. It was just really like a very intrusive thought that didn't feel like anxiety. It just genuinely felt like, no. And I was just like, I don't know who you're talking to, but it's not me. I'm not the one. So I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't like that feeling. Um, so yeah, and, and then from that day, <laughs> from yesterday, I decided that I was going to do a little body detox a little um cleanse a refresh a start over and i decided to do intermediate fasting or just fast for um 24 hours um yeah so i decided to do that i listened to a podcast about it <laughs> that's that this is our new way of retaining information but i remember passing by and hearing about it before so I thought, you know what, this I need to do this. I've already been feeling like not being able to get a good night's sleep and also like feeling randomly sleepy during the day and just, I don't know, just groggy. But other than that, everything was like, it, it felt normal. But I just genuinely was like, I just need to like do a cleanse. I need to do a detox. I need to restart my system. So yeah so that's what I did and it was a little bit of a struggle but it was okay for the most part it was just for like 24 hours so at the end of the day I'm fine I'm I'm, I'm back to eating and I am no longer constipated yay well I pooped once today so I don't know if that counts 
as like, oh, I'm, I'm cured. But I feel better. I feel a lot better now. And I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think my body or mind or spirit was all aligned with, I don't think any of it was aligned with how I um, hoped it to be. So anyways, we're talking about this because, and yeah, we're talking about this because I was listening to the podcast while the whole day when I was fasting. Well, the podcast didn't last 24 hours. It lasted like two hours, but I was busy doing things. So I had to like pause a lot and start over a bunch because I can't pay attention. Well, I can. It's just, you know, your girl's distracted. I have undiagnosed ADHD. Um, so yeah, in the podcast, they were talking about like fasting and hormones and your body and like, it just, your body is really just trying to help you and it's trying to protect you and it's trying to tell you things and we just don't listen and we don't, our body's trying to take care of us, but we are not taking care of her. And (laughs) that's just so sad. Um, well, at least for me, I'm not taking as much care for her as I should be and I yeah so um in the podcast they were talking about hormones and the things that the body naturally does when we go into a state of fasting or when we eat better foods or when we just are just extra keen to our cycles and stuff and by cycle I mean the menstrual cycle and I was like, oh my god, that's so interesting. And then she was talking about cycle syncing and how the cycle... In my head, I was like, oh, my cycle, like my period cycle. But they were talking about like, no, the whole cycle, like the whole entire month. And then we start over again. And I was like, you know what? That's so true. Because there is only just a week in my life, every month, where I feel like a normal person. But then all the other weeks, all the rest of the three weeks, I am fluctuating and or on my period. So it's a lot and it's exhausting. And then we do it all over again. And then I don't know why it just (laughs) it's like men in black and we just forget. And then we start again. So I was listening to that and I was like, that's so interesting. And she was saying, like, really, biologically, we should work around um for women or people who menstruate we should work around our um, cycle for how long it lasts some people 30 days a little bit more than 30 days 28 days and I was like oh that makes sense and then it got me thinking like but I just got my IUD so and I'm still adjusting to it so I don't know how I'll be when and if I don't have a period anymore for the time that I will have this IUD or you know like how much of it and is that are those hormones from the IUD going to be affecting me even though it's like a local and it's only going to be spread in my reproductive area and not like the rest of me but I don't know being a woman is really like a magical thing it is sometimes it's a curse and sometimes and most of the times it's a blessing and it's magical you know and I feel like Wizards of Waverly Place where um Selena Gomez character is like yeah magic it's great and I can do all these things but then sometimes you have these intentions and then sometimes they go haywire and then you gotta fix it again so yeah that's how being a woman feels like (laughs) sometimes where it's like yes magic but then sometimes the magic can be a little bit crazy then you gotta reel it back and you know fix it up and whatnot I don't know um yeah where was I going with this magic sometimes it can go haywire yeah um everyone's different hormones you know things like that so i'm just like well what does it mean if i have an iud should i because should i consider this this cycle sinking and as much as i want to be attuned 
to the universe and my body, my magical body, and whatnot. At the same time, I'm like, I have to think realistically here on the grounds of Earth, on the grounds of this crazy world that we live in. Like, what, I guess, would is best for the situation right now so i'm trying to like not to think too far ahead of it so yeah i'm just like listen i can at the end of the day after all of this said and done i'm thinking to myself like okay guess what there's only so much you can do sometimes there these are the only things available to you and so you just have to make it work for the time being and when you can have a little bit more control about the things that you put in your body or the or your environment and if you have more control of that or are able to have more control and flexibility around those things then can I try to do better but for now I just have to work with what I've got and the cards that I deal with and not stress myself too much so yeah some things you can control and some things you can't and that's okay um maybe in the future it'll change um so yeah and then there was that and that's what i came to the conclusion of by the end of the day slash into the morning and then also into the morning um you guys i don't know if you're looking at the video or not but i i mean it was definitely all the way in the beginning but the tarot that I did this morning, I was looking into the whole hormones thingy again. And then I was like, okay, this is a lot of information and this is good to know. I'll keep it in the tabs. Hopefully I'll remember I have those tabs open. But you know me, all the tabs are open. I don't know where the song is coming from, but something's playing in there. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, I don't I don't I also don't know why well I actually do know why I was on social media and there's another astrological thing coming up and it could be a good thing or a bad thing but it's it sounds like more well there's no such thing as good or bad um depends on how you see it um <laughs> what was I gonna say oh yeah something is happening Saturday hopefully I'll be able to upload this Friday right now I'm recording this or editing this Thursday which is the day that I would like to post it, but we're not. Anyways, it doesn't matter. On Saturday, April 20th, 420, <laughs> for all my potheads. I'm not a pothead, though. I couldn't do it. I don't like smoke. I don't like the idea of smoking. But, you know, you go do you. Whatever works best for you. You live your life. I am not God. I am my own person. We are our own persons. We are our own gods. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, Jupiter conjunct Uranus or Uranus. There's something astrological happening big on Saturday. Jupiter is involved. Jupiter is a big planet and a planet of good luck and opportunities. And yeah, so I was seeing that all over social media and I was like, ooh, I wonder what's coming up. And I was like, you know, I should really get on with this job hunting because I've kind of been backed up because of going out to appointments and things like that and just kind of trying to collect myself as much as I can before I you know put put the news out there into the world but yeah so I decided to pull out my tarot cards because it's been a minute so I did that I did two types of readings the first one I did was like just calling on my spirit guides and angels and ancestors and just energy good energy and universe and whoever well not whoever but you know yeah i was just calling upon that and i was just like if there's any message that you can tell me right now i would love to hear it i'm gonna pull a card from each one i ended up pulling like a couple of cards from two of the other decks but there was one and I was like okay and then I was reading about I was reading each car and I was like okay I'm trying to see what story what they're trying to say <laughs> to me like each card was a sentence of like overall this is what I'm trying to say on this part and this part and this part so I wrote down on my little paper here on my little script paper 
So the first card was um, the tower, but it was reverse. So I, I know for the for the tower in general, it's maybe it's better if you guys saw the clip again. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna try to explain it as fast as I can. So when you get a tower card in the tarot deck, the tower is like it's usually what you see a tower and you see lightning strike on it is usually what's depicted and the tower is like crumbling and falling so you have this big structure this big institute i don't know if you would call it institute i'm gonna call it an institute you have this big tall thing standing strong and tall and then all of a sudden lightning strikes and it crumbles so you know interpret interpret that how you want to interpret that but it's usually like oh a big change is going to happen something's going to fall apart but things fall apart for the better things fall apart for other pieces to fall together or fall into the right place nothing lasts forever is basically you know <laughs> i don't know if that's the gist but that is the vibe of the card for me so it was reversed so i was like oh you know but in the book that i was reading it didn't really say like oh when it's reverse it means this it was just basically telling like this is the story of the tower card but it was reversed so i was like yeah, okay either way they're like the tower she's fallen now the pieces we will build it back up so i put <laughs> everything is crumbling and then we move on to the next cards and well everything literally is crumbling if you look outside if you look at society if you turn on the news everything's crumbling um anyways the next cards i was like but you can control you can you have the power you have the strength you have the emotional capacity don't forget that you are a person and you have your own emotions that you own yourself and you have the power and the will to react and how you respond so you can remember to make it a positive one try your best to make it a positive one essentially and then it also mentioned like a 12 month plan so period yeah um and then the second question that i was asking the cards when I reshuffled and then I pulled out cards again, I was asking, who's going to come into my life in like the next three months or four months? But like, you know, in the in the soon future. And y'all, I'm like, what? So uh, this might scare some people, but I pulled out the devil card, Aries New Moon and the hope card and i was freaking geeking out because i don't know if i mentioned this before i feel like i totally did in one of my crazy whiteboard videos but every time when i do like a pick a card reading i and i'm always like okay let's see what kind of partner i'm gonna get it's always the devil himself and i was like ah, i pulled out the devil card me my own energy my own hand my own spirit guides so i was like Ooh, okay and the devil card is sounds scary but she's not scary she's not all that scary to be like she's just a regular person like you and me except you know she has more authority in a way that i guess is scary but they're passionate <laughs> and they have their ish together so yeah what do you have to say about that now and for the first card i was like tell me what the person you know is like and then for the middle card i was like what are the emotions surrounding this and then for the last card i was like what is the overall like vibe of this connection between me and this per new person that i'm going to, to meet and yeah you know it's just, you know, crazy. And I just thought it was just so like, oh my god, what a coinky dink. 
So, yeah, the person who's coming in, the vibes is giving, you know, devil. And you could take it however you want to, you know, but I don't see it as like a bad thing. Kind of like when you pull a death card, you're going to be like, oh my God, that's so scary. And yeah, it can be scary, but all it really means is transformation, transitioning, moving on into the next and new thing. When there's an end, there's a beginning. It starts all over. And y'all, I snagged me a devil. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to keep a positive attitude about it. I mean, I don't know when. I could, I, I say this maybe in three months or four months, but it probably might be in, not until like the end of the year. Anyways, so moving on. For the emotional aspect, um, it was the new moon in Aries and I was reading that and then it was like okay so you know new moon new moon is basically like okay start fresh now you want to bring in like the new intentions that you want to bring in and yeah full moon is like okay we're full we're at our capacity and then new moon is like we're back to square one you could fill it up with you know however you want that's how I interpret it in my head is probably not the correct way but that's the easiest way for me to like kind of understand it and yeah anyways new moon new starting fresh and on top of that it's in aries aries is the first zodiac sign and also aries season is also basically the new year like the real new year because spring is like when things come back to life again because everything was dead so the real new year would be like the spring equinox um so yeah and so they were mentioning like spring and new things are coming up so be ready for that and yeah it's going to be exciting it's going to be passionate it's going to be they literally said lit so i was like and that's on period so yeah they were also like don't be too hasty don't be too crazy because you know aries are a little bit fiery and stuff but yeah there's something to look forward to but don't forget the lessons that we've learned in the past as well but yeah something to look forward to and then the third card i was like what's the overall like vibes of this connection and the card that I pulled was hope, which in tarot, it would be the star card. And it was basically saying like, you know, this is basically, we're talking about hope. We're talking about faith. We're talking about resilience. We're talking about, um, do, should I say evolution? What was the, there was another word. We're talking about harmony oh my god there's another word oh enlightenment um so yeah they were saying that and again they were saying like you know winter and then come spring and then things start lighting up again and yeah just just good things are coming up and to have faith have hope have that light and really to just never give up ever like if you thought about giving up this is the sign that says no don't keep going you are literally so close you are almost there you have no eye beeping dia so keep going because it's gonna get it's gonna get so much better like right now it feels kind of like nerve-wracking and dark and and a little confusing and it feels like you're walking in a fog and you feel a little bit uneasy but if you keep on just pushing and keep on keeping on, then you will get a treat that is more than you asked for, more than you bargained for. And yeah, you're just going to be grateful that you didn't give up. So I am happy with the answers that I got. I am happy with the um, message that I got from 
from my spirit guides and spirit angels in universe if you guys believe in any of that and yeah my computer is heating up like crazy um so that's what i wanted to update you guys on um if you're looking at the video you're probably wondering why i'm putting on makeup well this is like going back to my roots of me not knowing how to put on makeup and just just playing with my face um but i'm trying to test out and practice what my work makeup will be so you know it looks like nothing but it's something and that's better than nothing because i feel like when i'm raw faced i just look like somebody's child and i am somebody's child but i don't look like my age and the hair is not helping everyone ignore the hair please please um but yeah i look like you know if i if i put myself together you know you can see it you've seen me put myself together i just don't have a face of makeup on but if this is the life that i'm about to enter if this is the field if this is the workforce this is the new phase then i have to look the part and so this is her and i think i look i look fine i look like a flight attendant um also the glitter on my eyes the eyeshadow the glitter was chunky that it was falling onto my eyelashes and i had to keep picking it out and then i read the back of the eyeshadow palette page and it was like oh for this specific one and this other specific one that has the chunky glitter is not intended for your immediate eye area so now i'm like i have glitter on my eye i'm still wearing it right now and i can tell you what it's holding up the makeup it oxidized my face is not peely as much and my pores aren't really much that showing so that's a plus um but yeah the glitter i have to be careful washing it off tonight because i might get it in my eye and i might go blind so knock on wood pray for me um i think i'll be fine though but they put that on the eyeshadow palette and i was like why would you do that if it's not intended for my eyeballs i don't know anyways this is it. Thank you for listening. Bye.